For Dr. Matthew Lissy, agriculture is more than just farming. As the coordinator of the West Hill High School Agriculture Science Program, he teaches students to appreciate all aspects of the agriculture lifestyle. Um, I just, I myself have always loved these different topics, and I think this program provides an opportunity for kids that, like myself, just love these different topics. And the great part about this program is it connects their schooling to their college to a career pathway. Well, people are always going to need to eat. No matter what else we do in this world, we are always going to need to eat. And as our population grows, that's going to get tougher and tougher to provide food for everyone. And eventually, we'll reach a point at which, um, you know, as we continue to, unfortunately, convert farmland into housing developments and malls and things like that, there's going to be less and less farmland. And uh, a big jump came after World War II when we got really efficient at producing a lot of food on a smaller amount of space. And now the next big jump might come from this genetic engineering. But you can't always count on these big jumps. You, you have to be uh, very conscious of what you're doing to the environment and things like that. The program, which is funded through the state as well as the school budget, works with students for the entire four years of their attendance at West Hill and offers unique high school classes in agriculture as well as college credit classes in conjunction with UConn. The program is designed to be a four-year program. It's set up by the state of Connecticut, and it's partially funded by the state of Connecticut. And kids come to us as freshmen, and we have them as, for one period a day, and as sophomores, juniors, and seniors for two periods a day. Now, as juniors and seniors, they actually pick which specific ag topics they want and which classes. Many of those we offer are UConn Early College Experience classes. So while the kids can graduate and get their regular high school diploma, they also end up with a transcript from UConn. And in their freshman and sophomore year, they get an introduction to ag. And that includes topics like aquaculture, animal science, plant science, food science, environmental science, and natural resources. Um, we also teach them about the FFA, which is the used to stand for Future Farmers of America, but now they just call it the National FFA Organization. Dr. Alessi explains that while the national perception of agriculture may not be a positive one, the field is important and should be taken seriously. All places, again, need food, and I think um, there are ag programs across the country. Connecticut funds this, our ag program, and we're kind of leaders in the country as, uh, for that. But I think what Connecticut's seeing is that due to the high cost of living here and the high property values, a lot of farms are being converted over into housing developments and malls. Now, as our fuel costs rise, we can't always ship our food from California and Florida up to here. It's just not a, a very sustainable thing. So Connecticut is really seems to be trying to support local farms, and there's that whole Connecticut grown movement um, and things like that. Well. As all the farmers get older, if there's nobody to replace them and buy their farms, or um, Connecticut also has a nice farm transition program. I hear the waiting list is quite long for that. So if we don't have people that want to farm and know how to farm, you know, we're going to have to be buying our food from elsewhere way far away, and that's going to cost us a lot more. Currently, there are about 80 students in the program, and if a student is interested in entering, they must apply. Please contact Dr. Lissy at mlissy at ci.stanford.ct.us or by phone, 203-977-4974.